This week, the NBA 2K League held its annual draft at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. It was a historic night for esports, as Chiquita, Chiquiti126, Evans became the first woman to be drafted into the league. She'll play for the Golden State Warriors NBA 2K League team, the Warriors Gaming. Evans was one of 198 NBA 2K League hopefuls participating in the draft, and one of two women eligible for the event. Brianna Novin, the other women eligible to participate in the draft, will still be available as a free agent this year. Last year, there were no women in the draft pool. The NBA 2K League is managed by the NBA and 2K. Players drafted in 2019 are signed to a six-month contract and will make between $32,000 and $36.00 a year, plus benefits and housing in the team city they've been drafted to. For Evans, this means moving to the Bay Area in California, home of the Warriors. Beyond this salary, players are competing for a $1 million prize pool. Tip-off for the NBA 2K League is expected to begin in early April. The league is scheduled to conclude in August. North American esports organization Cloud9 has added sponsorship from it. With sponsorship from it. No word on when the show will debut, however. At Cloud9 players will participate in it. Cloud9 is one of the premier esports organizations in North America, and, in particular, had a spectacular 2018. At the Esports Awards, Cloud9 was named Esports Organization of the Year. Financial Terms of the IT G Loot, a Swedish real money esports platform, announced a major investment, $25 million, from Norin and Swede Bank Rover. Among the platform's offerings is the Global Loot League, which runs player unowned battlegrounds events. Using the platform, players compete for cash prizes throughout the year. Esports is one of the fastest growing forms of entertainment today, Swede Bank Rober Fund manager Henrik Karlman said in a statement. There are plenty of opportunities and many companies are trying to get a piece of the growth but only a few of them have a clear idea on how to monetize the emerging industry. GLoot are among the very few with a proven business model and a grand vision of democratizing esports and making competitive gaming available to all. GLoot will use the $25 million investment to expand the company's offerings through increased prizes for PC and mobile gamers. GLoot said the investment is one of the largest ever in Europe for an esports company. The company received $12.1 million in investments in January 2018, and before that, raised $6 million. At an eSports summit in China, the Internet Society of China said it'll create an eSports work council, according to the eSports Observer. The Internet Society of China said the goal of the eSports work council will be to promote, reinforce, and standardize the eSports industry, combine eSports and China's education strategy, and guide eSports into a sustainable way. There aren't many details regarding the eSports work council, but the event held by the Internet Society of China had support from the multiple related Chinese governmental groups, the eSports Observer reported. The Internet Society of China was started in 2001 and its goals include industry self-discipline, strengthening communication, and protecting Internet user rights. Policymaking and public awareness is also within the group's purview. Elsewhere in China, Tencent is looking to increase investment in Chinese esports, according to a report by the Financial Times. The Financial Times said that local governments will expanding investment into esports tournaments, which will increase the scale of Tencent's events. The news of Tencent's plan for increased esports tournaments in China, however, preceded Tencent's announcement of its 2019 Honor of Kings Pro League season for the spring. Notably, two major sponsors have dropped out, McDonald's, Shanghai Pudong Development Bank, and Mars. Three new sponsors have signed on in their place, HLA Jeans, Dumb Brand 5, and Tongyi Ice Tea, according to the Esports Observer. Tencent's 2019 King Pro League has a $1.19 million prize pool, which is still impressive, but it's less than the $1.7 million offered last season.
the league is split into two conferences, West and East. Overall, 15 teams will participate. Telemundo is starting up its own Spanish-language esports channel. Backed by NBC Universal, the esports channel is the first ever Spanish language esports channel in the United States and will bring viewers more than 2,000 hours of streaming content each year. Content will be available on the Telemundo to Sports esports channels on Twitch and YouTube. Telemundo will broadcast EA Sports FIFA 19 Global Series, beginning with the Global Series EAF UT Champions Cup on April 5th. Coverage will continue through the final finals in the summer. Mexican streamer Sofia Ornelas and Argentinian streamer Juan El Patton. Satula will host the channel, with daily content, including at least eight hours of live streaming as they play some of the most popular video games. According to the press release, the launch of Telemundo Deportes eSports channel strengthens our leadership position in the eSports space and gives us an opportunity to further connect with the Hispanic, multicultural gaming audience. NBC Universal Telemundo Enterprises Sports Content Executive Vice President Eli Velasquez said in a statement, As the U.S. Spanish-language home of FIFA, we are thrilled to bring back the EA Sports FIFA 19 Global Series and enhance our presentation of the event with the launch of the new Telemundo Deportes eSports channel.